So today we're going to be looking at the dummy data sender for CCTV cameras. See what we get and how to put it together. So we get the enclosure, we get a flasher unit, we get an antenna, a gland for the single unit and some instructions. First thing to do is to put the antenna onto the enclosure. So we remove the nut from the antenna. This is a waterproof seal on the bottom of this antenna so it's actually quite difficult to put on. We've got a label on this side so this is the bottom edge the one with the label, without the label is the top edge. So put the nut underneath and then squash down extremely hard to cause the rubber to um, expand slightly and I'll show you that when I've actually got it on completely. If you look carefully you'll see that the antenna is now spread out and this is the water seal that we're looking for. The next thing to do is to put the gland on. This unit has been previously drilled but when you get it they'll be blank like this so if you have a, a twin unit you'll need to drill two holes or a single unit depending on whether you're left or right will need to be drilled. So this comes with a nut on there so we just have to put the nut in You can use tools for this at the moment, for the video I'm just doing it up finger tight, but you'll get the idea. And the next thing is to put the flasher unit in. But when the, I've already had this unit out so it's flashing already, but when you get your flashing unit you'll have to pull um, a little white tag from here and it will actually start the unit flashing. When you start the unit flashing it flashes very quickly. Um, with all the colours and I'll show you that by actually just removing the battery and putting it back in, back in again so you can actually see inside the unit as well. So when you first fit the batteries you'll see that the LED is flashing all the colours very quickly and it does this for about 15 seconds. I'll just slip the lid back on again. Usually there will be a screw in here um, that you'd have to remove to do that but just to show you as a demonstration we've left the screw out. So then just slide the LED through this hole at the bottom and then put the battery in next to it ensuring the cables aren't trapped in any way. It's quite good to actually to use that nut to uh, keep the cables back. And then once it's mounted onto the wall with their two fixing holes, one here, one here, then just clip the lid on. just by a push fit. And there you have it. Um, what we'll go and see now is it mounted on the wall with a CCTV camera, or one of the units that we sell but obviously it can be used with any CCTV cameras.